the M1216 four burst round shotgun. Four rounds, four chambers, and a turnstile delivery makes this shotgun a deadly choice at close quarter combat. My preferred setup, the long barrel, I don't call it the five foot killer for nothing. Lightweight and ghost to get you around the map quicker and unseen, scavenger for your C4 and also your ammo as you burn through it quickly, and because this weapon is so CQC, engineer will protect you from beddies and shock charges, and if you're going to run engineer, you might as well run the EMP grenade. And for fun, the crossbow secondary. In this clip on Hijacked, which is probably the best map to use the M1216, you'll see perfect examples of why the close quarter is perfect for this weapon. It allows you to get really close to your enemies, and you can probably expect to have a full burst to take down an enemy in regular game modes, nearly every single time. A lot of people will say that the laser sight is perfect for this weapon. You'll see in the next few clips, I don't run the laser sight, I don't think it's necessary, but you definitely want to hip fire this weapon, especially inside of 10 feet. If you know an enemy's there, there's no point in ADSing. Use the burst, which is what this weapon is made for, to take out your enemy. As you can see in these clips, I don't ADS one time and it's effective. And of course the reason why you have C4 equipped is to get those long range kills. In my opinion, the C4 scavenger setup is a must on any shotgun class. In this longer clip, the C4 is great for clearing out flags and the burst is perfect for those close quarter combat situations, allowing me to take that flag. And as you'll see as I move around the map, cover is not only important with every shotgun, it is a must for survival and effectiveness with the M1216. I hug the walls, stay close to cover, use the barrels that they put at every single corner on this map to get close to my enemies and take them out. And after you've taken out those enemies at that close quarter, don't forget you got that handy secondary. Pull out your crossbow, take out the long range target. The most important thing to remember with the M1216 is movement. You'll see every time I get a kill with my M1216, I change directions. You never, especially without a silencer, you never want to stay in one spot too long. You can take out one, maybe two enemies with the M1216, but any competent player will be able to take you out, especially if you're staying in the same spot for too long. So I've done everything right. I've used my cover, I've used my C4 effectively, my crossbow, I've used my cover, I've done everything right to be successful and that's what you have to do with this shotgun. You have to make the right moves. But sometimes in Black Ops 2, even doing the right thing won't guarantee you success. Securing Alpha.